Here we are, leave no trace. I'm up early. <laughs> Having to put the cold, wet socks and shoes on is chef's kiss. The reason I'm up and about early is because this is a tidal lock and last night at about eight o'clock it was high tide so I assume 12 hours from then it was going to be high again so I thought I'd get up so that I can make it round this headland without getting cut off so I'll have to scoot I'll, uh, I'll stop to do my water and all them sort of chores once we get round and get some miles under our soaking wet feet but slept well warm it was nice, you get woken up every morning by the cuckoos. It's nice to hear. Quick 360. <sighs> A few big breaths, man. <sighs> Feel strong, right? Let's have a good day today. It's so weird. Walking over all this, <laughs> all this grass. And seeing crab shells and Mussels, seaweed, <laughs> and smelling. You can smell the sea, and it is beautiful. Oh, I'd love to go diving in there. <laughs> there's the boffy. There's a lad outside it in his tent, and there's a couple of other lads in there that I saw go in last night. Uh, wet feet straight away. I mean, my shoes were wet when I put them on, and the socks were wet. I hung them on my little washing line, took a lot of moisture out. But first thing I did, I crossed that river next to the tent, so straight back into the wet foot game. These guys don't care, do you? Just having a nice little bit of nice little bit of grass. <laughs> Hey up! Oh, don't bolt it, mate. You're all right. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm just passing through, guys. You mustn't. No, you don't care. You've left your mate, look. Medic! Look at that, man. The tide was a little bit too far in, so I've had to come up here and over and down. I was just pausing to appreciate this. Crystal clear this water. Crystal clear, I'd love to dive in it. Another time, another time. We'll see how I feel, but I might just do a do a big in today, maybe do like 20 miles, something like that, around the 20 mile mark. It's early. Who lives there, mate? Just who? Can you see that? Hold on. Look at that. That is the roof of a house tucked away. Like, God. middle of nowhere. Amazing. Right, come on. Crack on, enough waffling. I was just about to walk through here, and as always, just do a little tester with, with Rod. Dan, <laughs> oh. that's still going. <sighs> From there to the bottom. I think we'll have to find another way. Look at that, you wouldn't even know it was there, but <clears throat> that's almost a full. <laughs> What's that? That's up to my gee whiz, mate. That's almost up to my waist, my chest. Sorry. Oh, medic! Why? One, two, three, four. There's a big hole. Big hole in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> And there's a load of dead, uh, dead deer in there. Maybe part of a culling, something to do with culling. I'm scanning to see if there's any decent antlers in that, but still a bit fresh. Stinks. Six out of ten. Right, so river crossing. Let's have a look. Mm. 
Man, I can imagine this after heavy rains. Different ball game, isn't it? But I mean, I'm going to put my camera away because I don't want to drop it and slip. But that's only sort of shin height. Right, go on then. Just another day. Just another day in Scotland. Bonnie, Scotland. There, we're across. <laughs> and then, uh, according to the, according to my map, there should be a track up here. Uh, please. <laughs> so, we're heading up into this valley now, and this is where the, um, so from now, this is where there is no path. It's make your own mind up sort of thing. So I think I'm going to deploy the the Harvey maps for the first time, get it round my neck, and uh, belt and breeches with the GPS because I don't want to mess up here. I want to get through this and sail through it. So let's get the map on. Map you McConaughey. Look how much of a hiker I look now with map round my neck, all this on. Wait at and see, like. <laughs> if Rockstar Games had to design like on Grand Theft Auto when they're going to hills and they have to design a hiker uh, <laughs> that's me Cockstar Games right it feels good having the map out now very interesting uh, I don't feel like I need to take a bearing just yet I feel like the GPS has got my back there. Right, there's two, there's multiple ways here, multiple choices. Turn to page 42 if you want to get wet feet. I keep getting sidetracked by how nice things are, but look at this, man. Look, oh, you can see the bottom, it's so clear. I want to go in. And then, uh, and there's another pool just there. Ulla pool. <laughs> Oh, man, you could just look, look at that, you could just sit on there, you could just jump off that into there, living la vida loca. It's too early in the day though, I can't keep jumping in every bit of water. I'm getting FOMO though, I'm getting FOMO. Oh, to know that I'll probably never go in there. Breaks my heart, look how nice it is. Oh. Ridiculous. Look at this. One, two, three, four, all oh, a bit. Right, it is quite good, isn't it? I'm taking it as well. What's that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then a little one. They're roughly the same, identical, identical in their uh, form. I'm taking it. Don't judge me. <laughs> Look at that, man. Oh, don't burst me can of northern. It's going to be funny, isn't it? Like, when I label video for my gear. Ultralight backpacking gear. So for the Cape Wrath Trail. Keep ultralight. Uh, I've got a fucking, I've, <laughs> whoops. I've got a full, got a full can of Northern Monk. Uh, and uh, pretty much half a Rudolph on bag. Let's go. Ah, oh, I can handle it, I feel fit mate. I can carry antlers all I, you know. I can carry antlers till cows come home. <laughs> and if I if I start to fatigue, I know it's only day four, and I'm being a bit presumptuous. If it starts to get too hard, I can always just take them off, can I? Or one of them, but I like them and I want them. Little keepsakes. 
I'll definitely not get any more now. Two's enough. Unless I find a whopper and then that's going on. Look how there's um there's like a skirt of cloud just below. Like a smoky garter. All just below the tops of the mountains. It's like some like um the land that time forgot. And a little swimming pool just there. Oh, it's all too much. I keep seeing places, I'm like, oh, I'd love to go back there, I'd love to go back there, I'd love to camp there, camp there, I'd love to camp there. <laughs> there's not enough, there's not enough days in a lifetime. It's these legit nuts, this bit. <laughs> Just having to sort of traverse. And then back and forth over the rocks, it's slow going. It's like, it's tiring, it's such hard work, but it's so beautiful every time. Every corner you turn, you're like, oh my God. Lord at rings gear. I'm just grazing as I go. Check for bugs. Primrose. There's wood violets. Dandelions. Wood sorrel. Lots of little bits and pieces, not too much of it, but I just graze as I go and it gives me a bit of roughage, a bit of energy. Good from around, you can just pick it up as, you, as you're hiking. Speaking of Lord of the Rings. What a place. Oh, I didn't do it justice on camera. It's huge. Sandy beaches. Oh. Oh, oh me. <laughs> Someone's camped here. Don't blame you. Look at that for a camp spot, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, leave no trace, but it's fine because I think everyone who comes here will have a fire there. So having a universal fire pit is probably all right. This burn that I know is coming directly off the top, so... I'm happy to fill it. Look at that, crystal clear. Simple as that. Replenish. Oh. Now I have to take one of my tops off as well, it's getting warm. <laughs> spring break mate, spring break. Right, 26 minutes past 10. Ah. Map check. Bish bash bosh. Ah. Mwah. Love these things, love them. I'd be lost without them, wouldn't I? Right, ah, come on. I'm just traversing this bit and look at this, man. It's it's black but also so clear as well like I can see the rocks underneath but there's a blackness to it my, I wish I had my goggles wish I had my goggles I'd be in there because I don't know where this is gonna take me I'm lost am I lost now nah. uh. My map says this way, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. I've got to get across here, man. Somehow. I've got to traverse. <laughs> uh, right. I might end up in there anyway. <sighs> I was traversed around there. And then there's all these slippy rocks. It's uh, certainly not for the faint hearted.
<laughs> it's a slog, mate. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful slog. And just to you look like there's just like, little ankle breaking holes like everywhere. You've got to really be on your have your wits about you. you know, all that bit where I was saying oh, <coughs> where I was saying it's not for the faint hearted. <laughs> because that's not the way. I I've i missed the turn and I've come all the way up here and followed the river, which I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done. And ironically the turn is where I stopped to fill my water bottles up. I stopped to fill my water bottles and I didn't, I, oh, I just assumed it wasn't there because it was so steep. Oh well, <laughs> George Orwell, I've got to make it all the way back through all that shit. <sighs> Medic! Straight up just off-roading it. Beelining it up. Whew. Real talk. I reckon uh, all these deers are they're dying because they're knackered. They're just giving up. And uh, I just this last little push, I'm like, oh my god, I feel I can see why. Because all I'm doing is following. Well, I'm not following anything. I'm just just raw. And you can see the odd deer track. I was just thinking, you lads, there's no wonder you're all keeling over. That's tough, mate. That was. That was tough. Oh, I didn't want to talk about it. Made a bit of an ass of it, and then it made an ass out of me. But either way, man, either way, that is a tough climb out. If you get the right path or not, that is a tough climb out. I've, uh, I've hit this little track here, which is the one that I'm just going to keep following now. But thank God, <laughs> that little bit's over. I treat myself to half a energy bar and some water. So I made it over the top, and now I'm just cutting my way through this valley round the corner uh, and I forget where I'm going now but that's where I'm going <laughs> now <laughs> I'm going a bit delirious because of uh, the sun is belting on me <sighs> glad I've got daft that on look who's laughing now that cat that peak of peak at cap just covering my neck beautifully A lovely little view down the very valley to Barrisdale Bay. Wonderful. Made it to the Bothy and campsite. And it is tempting just to kick off the old shoes and spend the night, but I mean I've been going seven hours. I'm gonna crack on the there's a tough little section now. I'm gonna attempt that tough section and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna bed down for at night. I was getting a bit skittish on my feet and one energy bar for there, just want enough so get some calories in me before we set off again. That's better. Bit of food in me. And then let's see if we can make our way to Kinhlockween. Whatever it is. Oh, it's been a long day already, it's 10 to 4. I'm gonna keep going. Um to try and get to Kinlockween. 
and if I can't get there, I'll just if I feel too tired, I'll just camp somewhere around here on me on me route. That's the beauty of it, isn't it? There's no there's no fixed rules for me. I just do what I want, do how I feel, but I am aware that I need to put the miles in. Anyway, speaking of putting the miles in, later. Ridiculous, isn't it? You can see the lock there, and there, uh, and you have these peninsulas that stick out, and then you've got to come, come back and just climb up and over and then like that up and over so there's a lot of effort for very minimal distance at the moment and my legs feel like they're going to burst That's pretty cool. What is it? Rhododendron. Rhododendron cave. Oh, I tell you what, not only is it cool looking, it's also a lovely cool respite from that sun. Really shouldn't ever complain about the sun in the highlands, but it's been at my back pretty much all day, which is sapping me, but I'd rather that than rain. So I mustn't grumble into it look see where it brings us out just more ups and downs path in it relentless this bit relentless it's quarter to seven i've just come into kill knock you and it is just literally two houses but then i saw that b and b and t room obviously closed um, but then an old gadget came out of that top room, I says, <laughs> I got chatting with him, and I says, have you got out, have you got anything going tonight, mate? Put us up, or... Or whatever. And he's gonna, he says, I'll wait there, and he's gone to have a word with someone, so fingers crossed. Right, Michael Mapperpaw, let's have a look at you. There's Suli's Bothy, I was opposite there, just on this bit of land is where I woke up. Uh, I was trying to... Uh, get up early so that the tide would be out so I could get round this headway, but it wasn't I'd, uh, It was um, if, despite getting up early. It was still in so I had to go over this nab and then instead of going across here I've marked it. I, I, I just walked across Just straight across as the crow flies all through here, which is Some of the waterfalls and the plunge pools are so beautiful and so inviting along here Stunning as you're coming through here. Yeah, man, it was just tough, but absolutely Beautiful around this bit here Was something else Lord of the Rings some of the most beautiful scenery I've seen and if I'd have known I would have pushed on um, I would have pushed on the day before and camped there So anyway, keep going you climb up and then these little dots so the dash is a sort of rough track when you get the dashes, the, the, the little dots mean there are there is no track. So <sighs> instead, I've I've even drawn it on the map before I came to go like right, take that shortcut. I didn't. I just walked straight up here. <laughs> and ironically, right, this is where I should have gone up, and that's where I filled my water bottle. And I was just so buzzing after I filled my water bottles that I was like, right, crack on. And as I was going through it, I was thinking. Jesus Christ, mate, this is real day. I like to walk through like rivers and under like do a bit of rock climbing. It was well hard. And I got quite I got up here basically before I was like, odd on a minute. No one's coming this way. There was no signs of anything and it was getting ridiculous. So I had a quick look at map, realised what I'd done, kicked me in the dick, and then I had to come all the way back. Because I couldn't get up here. I was looking and I was thinking, oh, if I could just get up there and hit this track, but it was just too steep, so I had to come back. 
and I still couldn't see this path so I ended up going a derivative of I ended up coming up here zigzagging again a bit of rock climbing it was really steep you can see by the contours it's really steep and then I finally hit this track it was buzzing um, and then you keep going up and up and up over the top back down again there's some stunning scenery but very difficult all the way down here this is a long day mate this is a long day all the way down here then I got to this campsite and I was like I stopped for a drink and thought shall I stay weighed it all up thought now nah, let's crack on so I cracked on and this bit man this stretch was a killer absolutely on here it just doesn't look too bad i measured it with my uh, compass and it i worked it out about maybe 8k 8 or 9k uh, laterally like just in a straight line 8 or 9k something like that i thought that's all right we can do that nightmare mate it's some of the most beautiful um scenery so far absolutely stunning views man with the with the salt water lock and uh, just just everything about this path was absolutely gorgeous. The problem was it was just up and down. It was relentless going up and over these ridge, these um, these ridges, up and over, up and over, and it just wouldn't end. Every time I'd get round one, it'd be like, oh yeah, more. It was relentless. And then I rolled up to um, Kinloch Queen or Kinloch Kinloch Horn. Sorry for my pron uh, shit pronunciation. Uh, Kinloch Horn and. As I was walking past, mate, jackpot. I just saw it being B-sign, and as the guy came out, I was like, do you have any rooms, mate? He says, yeah. So I got in there for the night. Happy days. <laughs> there you go. Latch and lock. Latch and lock. It's a bit squeaky, mate. A bit squeaky, Tony. I was just coming through. It was, it was gone seven o'clock. And I saw this old boy coming out at uh, out of this B and B, and I just impulse, I just said, "Have you got any space?" He was like, "Give a minute." He went and talked to someone. He came back and he says, "Yeah, I'll do you." And he said, "I'll do you a beef stew." I says, "Done, done." Snatched his hand off. I'll do. I'll keep in there for a bit with a beef stew. Turn. Thanks, mate. We've got a big day today. It's going to take. Roughly, Tony was saying it would take about eight hours to get to Shield Bridge, or whatever it's called. I must just, I'll, just, I just have to apologise to any of my Scottish man and lady dem for my mispronunciation and downright <laughs> ignorance when it comes to the names of, uh, of places and locks and whatnot. So I'll give it my best shot, but sometimes I'm way off the mark. It's a game of two halves. For me anyway like i get up and i'm full of beans the bag feels light even though it's got two antlers on it and a cannon or the monk <laughs> more than i need but yeah the bag feels light uh, i have a spring in my step i feel good and then it's soon replaced like halfway through the day sometimes even sooner with just like this <laughs> this cycle of thoughts in my head going I'll soon be at camp, I'll soon be able to stop, I'll soon be able to stop. <laughs> uh, and just sort of like grimacing like that. That's my grimacing face. <clears throat> Trying to get through it, but for now I'll appreciate and enjoy the upswing. Chicken on a wall. Ooh. I've climbed from down there. Some of this track is borderline <laughs> vertical. <laughs> it's decent on calves, like. My calves are pulsating. But I'm powered by my thighs are keeping me going. <laughs> and also morale is high. 
that's the main thing on anything like this or any endurance I feel like anything that's endurance see how it's life in general is it's a morale isn't it it's a state of mind because you could on one hand you could be saying oh my calves are hurting my knee and ankles are strapped up blah de, blah yeah oh sorry I just had a little tiff tumble <laughs> uh, or you could choose it, it's a state of mind this is vertical it's the beginning of the day, I just feel good all the aches and pains are secondary I just I know deep down that if I make this if I get to the end I'll look back in, in years to come as it, I'll look at it so fondly and that thought just makes me just appreciate the moment that I'm in, even if it's hard, really. Knee brace, chafing the back of my, cutting up the back of my, uh, back of my knee. The painful knee is better than the chafing. The chafing's just like a burn, and the knee is just like a weird pain. Not as bad. Maybe I could put it over top of these, maybe. Should we have a go? Yeah, this is top quality. Entertainment, isn't it? I mean, it's not going uphill so much. It's only when I go downhill that it it clicks a bit, like it hurts, like it's gonna KO me. Is that better? No. Sack it off. Sack the knee brace off. Let's add the ankle brace to the list of items that I'm needlessly carrying across one of the hardest hikes I've ever done in my life. It, the hardest hike I've ever done in my life. What am I on about? Oh, that feels loads better actually. Keep it. You can, you can keep your, your brace. Just keep layering according to the weather. There's no point in getting sweaty and there's no point in getting cold. When you've got all the layers, it takes two seconds just to stop and uh, just adjust your clothing system. All right, guys. All right, Antler and Deckler. <laughs> you're, you're coming with me. Look at that, man. Antler and Deckler. I wonder what they thought at the B&B when I rolled up with Antler and Deckler. <sighs> Strapped to my bag. There's a bird soaring above. You know, I can't. No, you won't see it, but. We're in eagle territory. I would love to see one. Right, crack the hell on, Paul. Stop waffling about birds. <laughs> I've become a bird. I'm a bird fanatic now. Just into birds of all... Well, I always have been a little bit, but it just gets more and more the older I get. I'm mean, one of them grey-haired blokes that just feeds pigeons in park, aren't I? Oh, well. There's worse things to be. Anyway... That's my limit, I reckon. What's that? 10 metres. Any more than 10 metres. And that's just buffoonery. And then if I imagine that, every day I'm doing more than 10 metres. Every day, that adds up. And then if I don't make it at end, because my knees are cacked, I'll look back at these little bits and be like, you turnip head. What are you doing? You saying? I could walk up there and see if there's an easier way across, but... Conundrum. Or further down even. Uh... I actually made it across these stones, which is... Uh... Normally I'd just wade through it, but... It's a lot cooler today, and the idea of getting a full-on wet foot, it's not as appealing to cool me down so I'm trying to stay relatively uh, dry footed but that's all going to change <laughs> as we head up into this quagmire it's, this is apparently a very steep uh, incline up here on to the top of this ridge so unless something magic or nah, <laughs> unless something happens between now and then Let's do a fast track to the top. What with mouth heart. Here we are. 
Ah, this was some of the most grueling coming all the way up this valley. There is no path, you've just got to make your own way <laughs> through the bog and through all the little ankle break, little secret holes here and there. <sighs> um, tough going, tough, tough, tough countryside. <laughs> Still got to go all the way up there, don't I? It's not even the top. <laughs> I just had to stop for a minute because. Oh, look at it. There's a, it's getting colder the more you go. Obviously, the higher you elevate, the colder it gets. So there's a real chill on. So I've just stopped to put a base layer on up there. Let's go made it oh. that was one of the hardest you're probably the hardest ascent so far okay <laughs> yeah one of the hardest ascents so far look at it Un there's just no path look the snow capped mountains over there <sighs> And still we go, <laughs> and still we go. It is a slog, I know I keep saying it, but I'm loving it, it's so rewarding. <sighs> but if you are watching this and you're like, oh, that looks real good, I'll, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and you don't, and you, you need to be, well, you need to be fit. I'm probably gonna get found out later on, but, because I feel like I'm being a bit too, everything's going a bit too all right, but. Yeah, you need to be fit and you need to have good navigation skills and whew. yeah, it's pretty tough, man, but uh, the rewards, the rewards are pretty special. I have to uh, navigate over these boulders and rocks along and hug this <laughs> ridge to go around the corner. It's a, it's a scramble. It just takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of time just to get nowhere really. But needs be. I'm making way over these rocks and you can see, look, I mean, that hole, I don't even want to put my stick in it because it, it's deeper than me walking stick. So, uh, if your leg goes down any of these holes, it's just, bruh, you're breaking your leg, so. You really do have to keep your wits about you. you imagine that, that wall of huge mountain. I'm like on the opposite side of that. So I'm on there and there's no path. And I've got to get down and round and out of this valley. My right knee, well on the declines, when I'm coming down, my right knee just keeps, keeps going over a little bit and hurting, but uh, nothing too bad. As long as it doesn't go over, as long as it doesn't pop, it'll be all right. <laughs> but speaking of popping, Look at this. You just look at that normal ground, you're coming down here, or wherever you're coming from, and then bosh. You're in there, up to your shit. Oh, it goes, how far does it go? You're in there, and you can't even see that. And that's you over, and your legs snapped. It's real talk out here. The clouds are coming in. It's it's real. <laughs> it's real. And I'm I'm glad I've got my uh, I've got a Garmin Mini in reach, which is an SOS beacon. So if anything bad does happen, I'm all right. But we'll talk about all that at a later date when we go through all the gear if I've not already done it. And I just hope this pub. What time are we on? Uh, Twenty past five. I just hope this pub is doing uh, dinners, teas, whatever. Is a pie and chips, mate. Please, what pie and chips? Let's go, because that's all I'm thinking about in my mind, because I've not eaten since breakfast, so, and it's 20 past five, so I'm ready for some fodder. And that's what's driving me, is just thinking, right, what am I going to order? What am I going to eat? <laughs> a little beacon in the mind. That's all you need. It's even too much for deers down here, there's no, <laughs> I haven't seen a single deer. They're all like, nah mate, too hard. 
Got to grip my teeth on this one, I'll admit it, I'm finding it... Oh, this is definitely the toughest bit so far. Just a bit of a grit your teeth jobby. And I can still um, sort of take myself away from, disassociate myself away from it and, and think and see it objectively as still beautiful. You look at the snow capped mountains and the raw, rugged beauty, as I've said many a time. You can still see it, it's still there. You just got to let that thought take over the, the thought of like, oh, my knee hurts, <laughs> it's really difficult, uh, and I'm hungry. <laughs> just zone into it, zone into it. Oh, it is nice sat down, mate. Five minutes, we've had our five minutes. Let's grit our teeth and crack on. Right, me old fruit whisperers. I'm almost down from mountains. I can see the remnants of a, can you see that there's a track on the other side of the river I can just make out. So, oh, just gotta get through this. <laughs> then there's, way. see that's it mate. Every two seconds you're just going, lay. And using my sticks to sort of save my life. It's hard making a film while you're uh, while you're doing this. It's tough, it's a tough gig. Like, way. right. I'm gonna make my way down through this heather. Doesn't look too deep of a river. I'll soon skirt across it and then. Hitting that track is going to be chef's kiss. Absolute. Oh, CK. And then once I hit that track, I'll, uh, I'll glide. And when I say glide, I mean hobble into town. I'll just kick the saloon doors open. Into the spit bucket. What do you want? What do you think I want? Chicken, Kiev, chips and peas, mate! <laughs> a pie! A delicious pie, please! Your best pie! We don't serve pies, mate. Right, well, just take whatever else you've got, put it in pastry. Give it to me twice, with chips. <sighs> Little things like that, look. <laughs> hey. right, let's get down to this river, stop waffling to this camera, come on. It's not too bad, it's not flowing too, ah, too bad. Let's go for it. Uh. <laughs> She's cold. Ah, <laughs> it's making me want to pee. Don't piss yourself. We're across. <laughs> We're across. Come on, let's get on this path, mate. Let's get on this path. That's what you want, a decent path. I bet it's going to be just awful as well, isn't it? Nothing's easy on this hike. Oh, look at it, it's not too bad. Look at that. Not so many ankle breakers or bogs. Feels half decent underfoot. I'm gonna run it. I'm running it, rest it, wait it. Lighthouse, right, let's go, come on. <sighs> Not uh, gingerly walking at best. Ooh, what a day. I mean, it's not over yet. There's still a fair old trek, but uh, huh. that section's behind me and that is that is good, that's a, that's a positive thing. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy as Larry, what time is it? 25 past six. I haven't eaten, I've only had my breakfast all day. No energy bars. I ate all my jerky within the first two days, obvs. Yeah, that breakfast was, Tony, if, um, I hope that is your name, I hope I've remembered it right. He's not gonna be watching like, he's a, uh, he was an old boy, he must have been in his late 60s, or oh, maybe 70s even. He ain't gonna be wasting his precious time watching me farting about on YouTube, is he? So, turn, 
anyway, knocked up a decent breakfast. We've sort of made it, look. <laughs> I was a bit too optimistic last time when I lost the path. It was quite, there's still quite a way to go. The trail soon pissed on my chips. Look at this, locks and latches. That's what we like, look. Cheap and a hey up. What are you done here, farmer? Oh, I see. I see the old, the old reach around, and I know why now because your, your hinges are gone because your gate's rotten at the bottom there. That's your analysis, mate. And I've built many a gate in my, in my time, so I know. <coughs> but you know, it's, it, do, it serves a purpose, doesn't it? Where's Luke go? Oh yeah, over there. Look, there you go. I like the quirkiness of it. And see what this little village, it's only tiny apparently, but I'll see what it's got to offer. I feel like just going and knocking on someone's door and asking if I can. <laughs> hey, mate, can I sleep on your settee? I'll give you a shout out in the comment section. <laughs> uh, I'll pin your comment if you let us sleep on your settee, mate. Use your kettle. One, two, three, four, five llamas, look. For so all just sitting down, all sitting down, all facing the same way. All looking at the ale house, aren't you lads? Happy as a pig and shit, mate. I'm gonna inhale this. Oh, you what, mate? That's really hot. There we go. Why not? Why not? <laughs> well, oh, I had a, I had a haggis scotch egg, then I had some Scottish haddock and chips, and then I had a sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to leave, mate. I did not want to leave. I had a J2O, a glass of water, feel good. It's all right, I'm out of here. I can see you, there's a couple of you in there, look, yeah. You little white bottom. Hey up. So, I mean, the pub's just over, round the back of there. But I'm thinking just pitching here. Got a nice view of the lock. Can't see anyone bothering me down here. Here, where I, le where I rest my hiking poles is where, whatever, something like that. Let's go. <sighs> There we are, digs are up. I want to get off my feet, but I just wanted to show you the digs are all up. There's my deer mate over there. A cuckoo's cuckooing. <laughs> and we might even get a silhouette of these geese. Yeah, but you can't see him. Ah, midges are biting me though. That's... That ain't good, is it? Look at that. <sighs> Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I'm still keeping the faith as well. They had some lovely IPAs in there as well and I'm, I was parched for one, but I want this to be the best beer that I've ever drank in my entire life. And the only way that's gonna happen is if, if I don't drink, hold on, is, is, if, uh, is if I don't drink for this whole trip, I mean, it's staying cool as well. And then when I get to the when I get to the Cape, to that lighthouse, and then I just... <laughs> I can't believe it. It's going to be so good. As long as it doesn't burst, or I drink it, or, some, or I don't make it, that's always a possibility, isn't it? I'm not making it. So, woke up here at the B&B. 
the climb out of here was ridiculously steep. Um, but I got into a zone. Just um, stuck my earphones in and just got into a real good zone because it wasn't too tricky. It was the odd bog here and there. But it was pretty straightforward. Steep. I mean, I say straightforward. My... Uh, what I, think, what I find straightforward has completely changed now. Until you get to here and then just forget it. Some of the hardest trekking I've done in my entire life up here. It was just path. Forget this dotted line. You just you pretty much just on your tod, and it go and it just keeps going all the way up here, man. It's so steep. Um, luckily, I didn't get lost. It was just it was just hard going. Really tough. And then got to the top. I, I walked up here a little bit and then thought, oh man, it's getting a bit steep, a bit hairy. And I checked the GPS and I was like, oh yeah, back down here. And then along this um, rocky bit here, that's just very sapping of your energy and it just time consuming. It took a long time. And then just down this valley as well, Viven wrote hard on there because uh, I've read a few blog posts and watched a few videos and it did say. And it wasn't wrong, all down here, just just from here to here, solid. Just this little stretch here, just solid. Just ankle breakers everywhere, knee snappers actually. Uh, all the way through here, <laughs> slogging it. Yeah, continuing to slog it, just a mixture of, of different hardships. <laughs> and then across the river and hit this track and I thought, oh nice one, here we go. That disappeared, then that got a bit difficult. Kept going. Um, just ignore all my me, me doodlings. Um, I've said food being B, eat, <laughs> with an arrow pointing to it. I ate my food, which was delicious, and then I left to go around this road, and I'm pitched right where my tip of my knife is there, looking out to the lock. Right, thanks to everyone for watching so far. Um, if you want to be notified when I next upload just click the subscribe button downstairs and the bell notification next to it and you'll get notified uh, there should be another upload in a couple of days two or three days providing I've made it <laughs> or even if I haven't I'll still upload some stuff Ooh, midges are out midges are out so I'll have to get the tent uh, the tent fastened up but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.